Let it load up here real fast. Okay, so you know when I go to our new plugins, and it will be on your desktop, so I'm going to drag it into there. I already have it. So you would, okay, so you open Group Manager. First, you want to go to World. And then go to which world you have. Mine, which is called Awesome right now. And you want to right click that. And open it with Notepad. I will be putting that download in the description too. So, go here, it will bring you there. So you can just exit out of that or just keep it open, it doesn't really matter. And now go to global groups and edit with notepad plus plus. So you have these two. Groups is for just that world that you clicked on. And global groups is for ev like the whole global. But I'll explain it to you. Okay, so you have your groups. You default, you can name what you want, it's default, and if you want default, like when someone first signs in, you put true. Or if not, you would just put false and like put this one as true, even though you would not want them as a member. So, your permissions, it already gave me one for bucket. Command kill. Don't really want that. And then the inheritance is actually where I go to global groups. I have that dream in front because it goes to the global. The essentials default is right here. So you guys can see. So you would just type what group it is. So like say I wanted default to be essentials moderator you can add more than one so you would type that D, and then you would type in moderator now all these link up with that so now they would have the default and the moderator plugin. I don't want to do that because it might screw me up. Just gonna go back. And now the prefix is if you want them to have something before their name. I like I said I already have this on my server and mine was guest. So you would just do that, and you can do the color right here if you want it to be red, even though you don't want that. And then if you want them to build on your whole entire world, you say true or false, minus false. And the suffix, most servers do not have this, but if you guys want it, you can get it. The suffix is for like, after your name. And then you can do that with all these, and you can add your own permissions just for that world if you want. You just type in like dash and then sentils dot kill all, and now they would have the kill all command. Now, if you go back to here. And if you are like the owner of the server, I'm guessing you are. You go back over here, actually, in the owner. They do not have an owner on here because you don't really need it. Don't think they do. No, they do not. You don't really need it. So if you just go back here and look at the owner, it says default, false, of course. Permissions is dash and then apostrophe and then the star. The star makes it so they have every single command. 
and the admin is admin. <laughs> Info you'd probably want it to say owner. I haven't set that for me yet. The build, of course, true. In the suffix, I don't really like to that at the moment. So I'm gonna try to make my own group. The easiest way to do it is just copy one you already have. And then paste it. Making sure they're all aligned. You can also do YML checker. I will have that in the description too for you guys to check yours. If you don't think it looks right. So, if you want a default, you probably don't, and you can change the name of it. Um, real owner. Default. Um, false. Permissions. Guessing you would want them to have this star, but I'm just going to be showing you that it works. Essential dot. Um, spawn. Dot. Bow. Now I just got those two. Um, inheritance. I'm gonna try it without any right now. Info. Why not? Let's add that there. Build. True. And now you have your own. You can always connect it, but I didn't want to because I'm just going to show you that it actually worked only with these two. So now you would just exit and yes. And after that, you would want to start up your server. But if it's already up, you would just type in reload all and it will reload all of those. But while it's doing that, you can always go to the world. And then I forgot to show you the users. So, the users is very basic, really easy. I can go through it in a second. So, users, like this guy's name is that. Um, can I add my name in there. And then the subgroups. I have no idea what that is yet. And then the permissions. If you want this only person to have their own permissions, then you can do that. And then the group, like, um, real owner is what we could add it to. But we don't want them to do that right now, so, no. Sorry about that. And now that is up. You would want to go to your Minecraft. Go to your server. Wait for it to load. Peter's loading really slow right now. Sorry about this. And Minecraft is not responding. Wait a second. Wait a second.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, my Minecraft crashed. So, join the server. My server. Sorry about that. You just go over here. I haven't built this yet. Anyways, so as you can see, if I talk, I'm on guest, and I changed it to Q1, so that's why it is blue. If you add a color after that, it will change your name, which is pretty cool. But as I'll show you guys real fast, you can always go back here, world, the one I'm in, and users. Edit with Notepad plus plus. And then I would add my name if you want to change somebody. Many black flames. And I want to change their group to. What was that called again? Real owner. So, I would want to say real owner. Might just work automatically in the chat. Just, and then you would type reload all. Wait for it to load through. And it's done. Oops. Owner of awesome, as you guys can see, it changed. So, if you ever just want to change someone in the middle of the game, you can do that. As you can see, mine is now owner of awesome. Now, if I tried to type in slash set, oops, let me de opt myself real fast. Now if I type to do, try to do slash set home, you do not have access to that command because I did not set that as permission. Now if I try to do slash balance, it lets me because I set that as a permission. So I also did um spawn. As you can see, this is user oops. Okay, sorry about that. And so now you can type in slash spawn because remember when I said that? And I usually have a plugin that will make it so you teleport with this. But to do that, you would have to add it permissions. On most pages, they will have a permissions section or a page. And you just go there and it will give you the permission, type it in copy and paste, it doesn't really matter. And then that's pretty much all. If there's any problems guys, just comment me and I will get to it as fast as I can. All the downloads will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoy and subscribe and like and thanks for watching.